All right, I've got literally maybe half an hour till the sun goes down. Uh, I just got this. It's a lose American Hero combo, speed stick, speed spool, bait caster, seven foot rod. They were, it was 80 bucks at Academy. Uh, nice, affordable rig. It's my first seven foot uh, lightweight rod. Not really lightweight, but the other seven footer I have is a big heavy duty rod, so. Wanted a new bait casting combo, had to get the left-handed one. One thing I don't like about it is where the hook rest is. It's down here. As you can see, the hook's there. I keep grabbing it like this. I keep hooking myself. I'm gonna try to do a quick review here and see if I can land a fish on this crankbait before the sun goes down. Uh, somebody's been using road runners out there. There's a couple of them hanging from that tree. Nice, to, nice easy cast. I'm using a soft, soft body crankbait. It's kind of like one of those rubber, like a frog topwater lure, but that's the kind of material it is. I've been really lucky so far not losing this crank. I usually use cheap crankbaits that if I lose one, it's no big deal, but this one's not exactly a cheap one. Even though it didn't cost me a whole lot, I got it in that uh, mystery tackle box, but see it squeezes out. We squeeze it, there's water comes out of it. So it fills up with water got a weight in it so it's a it's really a sinking crankbait try to move down to another spot a little bit further down or upstream I really want to catch something but this place is so iffy about where the fish are I don't have a whole lot of time so if I want to I'm gonna give it a couple of casts here then I'll try to jump in the car and drive down to the next spot but I don't know if there's gonna be any fish out there or not Whoa. And that is it for my crankbait. That is gone. Having to go right through this, the heavy part of the branch, so I ain't gonna get that back. Oh, whoa. That was really close. Oh man, I can't believe I actually got that back. Wow. This goes to show you don't give up on your crank, on your baits. When they're hanging from a tree, don't give up. Okay, you know what, Just that's an omen. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna go hit up that, new, that other spot. All right, I'm trying to get over there as quick as I can because it's getting dark already. I'm not sure if I'll be able to cast up into the storm drain with this rod and this combo, but I'm about to find out. I'm gonna give a cast out to the center over here first. There we go. Oh man, still backlashed. It's not getting the distance, but I think I, yeah, it's not too bad. Might be able to do something with it. We'll see. Oh yeah, come on. Got one. Yeah. Look at that. Green, good sized green sunfish. And he's hooked on there pretty good. First fish with this combo. Green sunfish, man. Look at that. Look at that hook set. Look at that hook set. Man. There we go. First fish on this combo. Good sized sunfish. I was able to do it before the sun went down. The sun's already getting, getting dark here. Let's see if I can get into that second tunnel. That's the real challenge. Oh. Didn't get it into the tunnel. Damn it. Damn. Look at that. It bounced off the edge. Gotta be careful with the accuracy on this thing. Any bait caster. Mm, thought I felt a double there, but nope. It's a stick. Oh, I thought I've, man, these plants and this high current feel like fish sometimes. Oh, that's not even a plant. What is that? It's like caution tape or something. Does not want to come off. Try to get up into that second tunnel there again. Nope, damn it. Backlash on this is terrible. 
when it does backlash it doesn't backlash as much as my other ones did but when it does it's okay let me just dude ah it keeps going too high and it's hitting the the top and bouncing off and backlashing if the if your bait does not go as far as you casted it to go as it's trajectory as the trajectory shows it should go it's gonna backlash pretty bad so if it hits anything or falls short or hits the water before it should it's just it's just gonna backlash and you're screwed somehow it tied itself in a knot around the bill ah there it goes again backlashing because it hit the sidewall Got it in without hitting the edge, but I think it fell a little shorter than it should have been, so I backlashed a little bit. It's also, this is a, it's a solid one-piece rod. It's not a two-piece rod, like a lot of them are, but. So it's a one-piece, seven-foot rod, lose. Uh, I'm not sure what the gear ratio is on it. It doesn't say it anywhere on here that I can see. But it is a seven-foot medium heavy fast taper the line is uh, 10 to 20 pound which i've got 10 pound trialing on it right now uh lure weight three eighths to an ounce the part number is d16hf there we go that was a good distance good cast in there it's actually that's the second fish i've caught on this crankbait first i've caught on this rod and I have not caught a bass on this crankbait. That's the second, the first one was just a bluegill, little bitty bluegill. This one was a pretty good sized green sunfish or whatever you want to call them. It's just, you got to kind of swing down to get this to go up into that tunnel. And of course, it, going downward, if it hits the water too soon, it's going to backlash just like if it hits the rocks or the concrete. You just get, you got to get it perfect. Oh, uh, it's too dark. I gotta get going. Anyway, well, the rod... Uh, the only time it was not doing what I wanted it to do was my own fault, my, my inexperience. So, I mean, it's... I, I'd like to challenge it with a bigger fish, but I'd say for what I paid for it, it's a pretty good, pretty good rig, pretty good deal.